Has anyone seen this feature yet? Apparently, this only exists in the YouTube Studio app. I was playing around my YouTube Studio app the other day and I came across this button that apparently teaches me how to balance my upload schedule. At first, I didn't even know it was a button. It just doesn't look like one and there's not much focus on it. However, after I tapped on it, it revealed to me one of the best hidden feature ever in the YouTube Studio app. One that can truly help us understand how to grow our channel without the help of YouTube gurus. However, before I explain why this is one of the best hidden features, I just want to give you a heads up that you might not see this button in your YouTube Studio app. As a matter of fact, mine has disappeared as of this recording. What you're about to see now are screenshots I took a few days ago. So if you don't see it, don't sweat it. I have a rough idea how this works and what you need to do in order to see what I saw. Okay, but what makes this feature so great? Let me walk you through. As soon as I tap on the button, I am presented with this screen that says schedules are not one size fits all. It depends on your goals, content, and audience. Right off the bat, I already love what was said here and it fits my philosophy on what YouTube is all about. As I said time and time again, there's not a single YouTube guru who can grow your channel by giving you generic advice unless they become your personal coach. This is because, as YouTube puts it perfectly, your goals, content, and audience are different. Hence, there's no template of success on YouTube. So I feel like YouTube understands me from the start now. The next screen is this, where YouTube says there are three types of content we can upload. Hub, Help, and Hero. Remember these three types of content because it will be very important later. The next screen I have here is one that says help content is already working well for you, followed by three videos. Essentially what YouTube is saying is these three videos of mine are what they call help content and I'm doing quite well with this content type. YouTube also adds at the bottom asking how can I complement this with the other two types? hub and hero. The next screen is just some generic advice about planning. We have balance effort and frequency, let your audience know and keep experimenting. I call this generic because I think that's what I have been saying all this time as well. Balance effort and frequency. Find a balance that lets you stay consistent. This is actually what I touched on in my previous video. The only difference here is I call it balance quantity and quality. Quality is pretty much effort you put in and quantity is frequency. So to me, they have the same meaning. Let your audience know, tell them about big changes like uploading more or less. I'm not too sure about this one. Maybe this is reminding us to use community posts more often. It is a little ambiguous. Keep experimenting. Try different schedules and track the outcome that you care about. Yes and yes. Most of what we do here is really just experimenting. That is how you create a viral video. Most of us who just started on YouTube are often asking about the one video to create to go viral. But honestly, there isn't such a thing, and experimenting again and again is really the way to go. So kudos to you YouTube for this generic advice. However, what we want to know is what we can do moving forward to improve, things we have not heard of. And this is where this feature on the YouTube Studio app really shines. The next screen I have here actually breaks down my channel into three types of content I have. If you still remember, YouTube said there are three types of content. Hub, hero and help. Well here, they gave me a few videos of my own as an example. So over here, these videos are categorized as hub and these are the types of videos that are frequent and easy to produce. Then we have help videos, which are evergreen answers to common searches. YouTube says these are once in a while videos that never get old. And finally, we have hero videos, which are popular topics with big appeal. These are videos that are rare and well planned. Now, why is this so special? Well, you know how we always struggle to produce the right content, not knowing if we are doing things right or wrong? This feature basically solves the problem for us by giving us the right insights. These insights are not about our competitors and what's working for them. These insights are personalized to our channel and we can use it to plan out our content creation strategically. So. How is this going to work for our channel? Now that we know YouTube divides our content into three types of content, help, hub, and hero, 
I believe YouTube is telling us that our channel should contain a mix of these three types of content. Let's work this out together, starting with Hub. Hub, as YouTube stated, are contents that are frequent and easy to produce. And here are three videos of mine that are marked as Hub content. These three videos have a few things in common. They are easy for me to create, they are videos of me sharing my opinion, and they don't require much effort in terms of research. I would say videos like this are conversation starters and the type of videos new channels can focus on to put themselves under the YouTube radar. These type of videos will teach you the ins and outs of what YouTube is about, it helps you build up consistency, and they are the best videos to use for experimenting because you do not want to put too much effort into an experimental video. I personally create video like this on a weekly basis, especially when I don't know what to talk about. I think my channel is filled with videos like this, to be honest. So that's help. Now let's move to help. Help content, again, in YouTube's words, is evergreen content. So things like how to fix a broken pipe, how to build a computer, they are considered evergreen content. YouTube pointed out to me that these two videos of mine are evergreen content, which is kind of true because one video talks about growing a YouTube channel and the other talks about getting to 10,000 subscribers. This type of content will always stick around no matter what hence Evergreen. I do know many big channels highly recommend starting with Evergreen content. If Evergreen content takes off, your views and subscribers will continue to climb on a daily basis and that's definitely preferable. But I don't think any channels can start creating evergreen content just like that. To be able to do that, you first need to establish yourself as an authority or a subject matter expert. And this is usually reflected in your subscriber count. And now the last one, Hero, which are rare and well-planned videos. I don't think I have done any well-planned videos before, but YouTube claimed I had have one, which is this video over here. Honestly, I think this video is just a hub content and easy to produce content without much planning. I feel like this one here isn't accurate. It almost feels as though they marked it as hero content because this is my best performing video on my channel. Hero content to me are like videos from Mr. Beast or Film Booth back when he used to produce high production videos. Again, I don't think I have what it takes to produce anything like that but it doesn't change the fact that YouTube does appreciate content like this. Okay, so after going through that, I found something oddly strange about this analytic by YouTube. So I decided to summarize this and I found something interesting. So here I have broken them down into hub, help, and hero content type. First, let's talk in terms of views. What I saw in the way YouTube categorized by content is that hub content tend to have low views help content has middle views, and hero content has high views. I'm not sure if that is by coincidence, but that is how I saw it. In terms of effort, again, hub has a low amount of effort, help has a middle amount of effort, and hero has a high amount of effort. In terms of risk, hub has a relatively low risk, which makes it good for experimentation. Help has a bit of a balanced risk, good to do this type of content once in a while. And hero has extremely high risk, but high reward. I think if you hit this one in every video you launch, then you can pretty much go full-time on YouTube. So now, when you see these three types of content like this in terms of numbers, it casts some doubt in this feature, doesn't it? Like, I can come up with this myself. If I want explosive growth, do more of hero content but know the risk. If I want to play it safe, just keep doing hub content and enjoy slow growth. I think when I lay it out like this, the key takeaway is every content we create has a risk. If you want viral content, then create hero type content, but know that your effort may be wasted because this is a high risk, high reward type investment. So it really is up to you to decide how you want to approach this. My recommendation is to try a bit of everything, just like how YouTube wants it, and decide what suits your schedule, your work, and your lifestyle. But does this mean this feature is useless? 
Definitely not. The good thing about this feature is YouTube gave us some examples using our content to tell us what content type we have produced. The best way to use this to our advantage is to really understand why they are categorized this way what is the difference between these videos and how can we do better? There's definitely difference amongst these videos, even if the slightest, and I'm sure you will be able to see it too. But it's up to us to find out what the sweet spot is. So here's the big question. If you don't see the button, how do you make it appear? I honestly don't have a true answer to this, but the YouTube Studio app does a nice summary for me on a weekly basis. And I found that this is when this feature appeared for me as well. What I think is needed is data. Data from your views and your channel's performance. So if you aren't seeing it, then maybe create more videos to allow YouTube to better understand your channel, then continue to monitor the YouTube Studio app. And if it is still missing, perhaps get in contact with YouTube, show them this video so that they know what you're talking about. Anyways guys, that's all for me in this one. Hit the like and subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next one.